So I played the Darkwing Blast pre-sales, and I want to talk about some of the interesting things that I'm seeing with these very early prices. Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. I know, right? Certain people are like, oh my god, Robbie, pre-sales are bad? Wait for the initial cards to drop. I mean, or you could be what we like to call a consumer that has a what they would consider a fair price point to pay now for myself yesterday i picked up the starlight version of the rucalos here for 199 dollars after discount code i paid 189 dollars for one of these guess what they kept upping the price because they kept selling out they sold out at 299.99 Wow, Robbie, did you just make this video to brag to us? No, I made this video to talk about, you know, the pre-sale game and what looks like a good deal to somebody. All right, now, Blazing Cartesi over here, I didn't want to touch this card with a 10-foot pole. I'm not a huge fan of the Starlight for this. I'm not a huge fan of the card itself. It doesn't particularly appeal to me. As a collector, I, I enjoy, like, the blue color scheme for this. I also enjoy t uh, Tier 0 tier as a deck. The Ishizu variant is so cool to see. This was a pickup for me. Um, the Lady of the Labyrinth, while I do like this card, I couldn't justify a price tag at this point, all right? Like, that's kind of, like, where my logic was with this was, of the three Starlights that are available on the market, this is the one that I felt was the absolute best deal. I mean, it's a one-of at most points. Now, the Beisty Elcor here. A few people were messaging me about this and going, Robbie, three Lubellions and all of the other good cards for $199. Do you think it's worth it? So I don't think that this was particularly crazy worth it, but the one thing you got to realize when it comes to these pre-sales is people are paying for that premium to get the cards guaranteed delivered to them early. All right, you don't with these bigger names, you're basically like, okay, cool, it's like a reservation, right? You're paying a slight upcharge here to get certain cards shipped to you guaranteed, all right? People, you'd be surprised just because you don't want to go ahead and go through the entire process of being like, uh, you know, I can wait a couple weeks to pick this up. People want their cards now. It's really weird. It's almost like people want to play regionals or something. That's that's like the big thing with these styles of videos is the world does not revolve around you, even though you might think it does. Um, this core, I mean, these were 50 bucks. I, I think these will be... Magnum will probably be a three to four, maybe five dollar card. So, what? Fifties on these, fives on these. That's one fifty, one sixty-five. Uh, the rest of the core kind of pans itself out. Um, I think that this was okay. I mean, you got uh, with the discount code that was flowing around. This was cheaper than this pricing is what one eighty-nine. So that price is okay. I'm not super set on it. Now this was the big one here. This was the one that uh, I think was probably the somewhat okay pickup. This did start going up in price throughout the day. This this wasn't the price point that I uh, specifically remember. But um, the big point with this was, I think this started off, oh, what was it? 120, 130, I could be wrong on that. This is your biggest card in this. This ends up being the ultra rare in the set. Um, I'm already, this this card already sold out. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's scroll down here. These sold out at $25 a copy. This was the go-to card in the set. Yeah, it's an ultra rare. I understand that. But once again, people are looking at this card and they're going, wow, you know, if Rhino Heart and some other cards in the set, I mean, which were, you know, staples in tier, this is a generic staple across everything, all right? Like everything future deck here wise wants to play this. So guess what? People are looking at that $25 price tag and like, yeah, that's probably what it's going to be. I've heard hearing people say this is going to be a $40 Ultra Rare, which I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that's a little bit crazy. I could see these topping out at maybe $30, $35 later on in their life. But once again, people want to pay that $25 price point to get these guaranteed. All right? Like, how many times do I have to reinforce that? I mean, also, to be fair, a lot of these prices are pretty, pretty fair tier, in my opinion, though this core feels once again a little bit high but i mean hey man seeing that these just sold out straight at 25s i mean all right you're gonna need three of these and three of these anyway to play the shatri law deck now Lubellion, these started at 49 i see that these did push up a wee little bit here this is your core searcher here they're still in stock i'm not surprised about that spellbound now this is an interesting card 
for whatever reason, I, I, I keep saying this in multiple videos, but for whatever reason, this community has an absolute craze for this card right now. All right, you do understand that this card says all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls. You understand that, right? Like, I'm, I'm not going, I'm not going crazy here, or something like that. It's just this doesn't create a lingering floodgate condition, like you know the predecessors here. So why are we? Why are we going ham, you know, crazy batshit bananas for this card? Um, that's that's where I'm going with this. It's like I, I don't understand this. All right, I am going to pick up a place out of these in German because I think that these these look really good considering the much darker art for these. And then same thing with my Beisty Elcor here. Um, oh yeah, these were this was like 179 art. Okay, it was 179 when we started yesterday. These two, or excuse me, these two in German look absolutely beautiful. So much darker. And then Fenrir, uh, most of my playable stuff I prefer to get in German. A uh, reason for that is I'm actually just a huge fan of um, like the darker color printing that we usually get from the European side of things. Yeah, I could get English prints, but the thing I've like enjoyed with foreign cards throughout the years, it kind of forces you to learn your cards and force you to read Yu-Gi-Oh! players and reading. We've already been through that. Goaty Fish Court, 35. No. Blackwing Core for 30. This was pretty all right. Uh, I'm not going to lie. If you're a casual player and you enjoy like this, I mean, 30 bucks ending your core was all right. Sprint? This this pushed down. I, I think I think this was a little bit higher the other day. Um, but yeah, 30 for this. I, for a one of is okay. Ignis is okay. I, I, don't have a, I don't have a good opinion right now on the Pendulum stuff going forward here. I, I think, honestly, the Pendulum stuff is going to be okay. I think you have possibly something really cool going for you here that might particularly have some sort of fun deck. Like, obviously, like, the World Dragons Atlantis in this are, like, all part of, like, the little combo integrations here. Uh, Zelantis for a one up for 20 bucks was okay for pre order. Ninja Core for 25 was okay as well. Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything in here too high rarity. We were talking about Fender. But he's in Cartesia 20. I think that this card is really bad, personally. Um, that's just my take on it right now. Um, I want to be proven wrong. I want somebody to break this card open because I want to see Starlights. I, I want to have a reason to pick up a Starlight for this. I really do. It's just, I don't think it's that good. Rue Kahlo sold out at 15 bucks. For a one of, um, I think this will just be the Kaleido Heart effect. I think this will push down. Uh, Lady Labyrinth at 15. I mean, at most, this is a, I think you play maybe two of this and Labyrinth, so that was okay. 13 for Unicorn's pretty good. I could see this going up. Same thing here with the Majesty Pegasus at 10. Uh, Druma Cannon sold out at 10 bucks. Yeah, who's not surprised about that, if you want me to be honest with you. This card right here is the new underrated card. Everybody's losing the crap about Spellbound, but when they look at Daruma Cannon, they're like, oh, I mean, this card's good, but like it requires me to flip down a monster. Uh, I'm not really involved into that. And it's like, oh, stop it. Like, this card is this card is good. I'm definitely picking this up in German. <laughs> the, uh, the news reporter here, eight bucks. Magnum Mutt's at $6. Now, if this card, you play this as a three of it, it's a DD Crow. You get one per box if you're lucky. All right, I, I think sometimes you should get all supers if you're lucky. Maybe some boxes you won't. So for a card, $18 to get a set of these. Um, and then, you know, one Druus Worm on the bare minimum. If you're not playing, you know, Alba Lenitus to search out these particular cards. For the four card splash engine, I think, honestly, I think five to six dollars is where we're going to see these go after especially like being a dd crow s card five dollars and five dollars yeah from here i think we just kind of start dipping down here jewish worm at three is pretty good um considering he's just pretty much a one of unless you're going like full package full commitment gas to the floor um i i don't think you you really commit too much further but that's kind of like my opinion on pre-sales like i was fine with this uh the shatri law core at a much cheaper price point was fine this is pretty high. I, I've said my two cents on where I think that this stuff is going, but I'm not surprised to see once again that people are picking up, you know, stuff very early on here to make sure that they're just guaranteed the price point. And this at 199 on the very early end when you were here. This is why when you look at pre-sales, it's always early to be early. 
always pays to be early to be early. Just be here when things get announced and you usually get rewarded for it. Weird. I remember when uh, Ghost Bells pre-sold for $200. Yeah, that's what happens when you get to pre-sales early. So what do you guys think about, well, how everything's going? Please, if comment about tell me what you guys think and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.